the next draping that we're going to demonstrate is um, working in through the groin and the quadricep muscle. You want to drape up high enough to be able to access the origin of the adductor. So, if you're using a blanket, just move the blanket out of the way. I usually like to tuck this into the shoulder so that if, for whatever reason, you're pulling on the sheet down here, it doesn't pull off the chest, okay? Again, you're finding your edge and corner, only exposing the knee to start. Support the knee. Grab your edge, pull down and tight. Then you'll take the top sheet and you can kind of just wiggle that so it's a little bit closer. If they have underwear, you can tuck into the underwear. If they don't, you can actually tuck up high close to the uh, iliac crest. If they have underwear, you can ask, may I move your underwear up higher and, and tuck in? So we're gonna do that today. And then always ask, do you feel uh, secure in this draping? Perfect, and we can start. So you can basically access the, uh, all the muscle structures that you need to without exposing the client. Um, if you need to do some movement with this uh, type of draping, so let's say we need to um, specific, oh, that's dirty. <laughs> we need to work the adductor muscle. Um, I'm going to actually ask her to help me with some of the draping. So I would ask her to hold the bottom sheet that we pulled up. So she has control of that. And I'm gonna actually get her to hold both right here. Do you have both? Here, let me untuck that. Now you have both. So she has control of keeping that drape nice and tight in the inguinal area. That allows me to be hands free and moving at all times. And because the drape, she is pulling tight here. I'll just show that. Nothing is gonna be exposed in here while we move and I can have two hands to do some joint mobs or to do some stretching or anything that I need to without exposing her. So now that we know she's holding her own draping uh, nice and tight, we've done some movement with her leg. You can grab a pillow and just have her relax the leg against the pillow and you can use one of these fine trusty tools <laughs> to work on the adductors. You can place the leg just uh, um, flex like this, and then have them relax the leg down. They still have the sheet pulling nice and tight with that drape so that they won't be exposed. And you have, again, two hands to be able to work the adductor or to palpate the origin of the adductor right off of the pubic bone. Okay, so to come out of this, again, you would just keep reminding them to hold the, the drape tight, and you just help them come back out, we'll move the pillow, and at this point they can relax the drape. We can untuck, always untuck to cover first, support the knee, grab the bottom sheet, and then just pull out. And that's how you drape the leg.